Today's video will cover the settings under the Pest and Materials Settings column. First, go to the Application Devices page. Review the list and delete the application devices that you do not use. And to add new application device types, click the gray button in the top right corner, input the name, and click Create Application Device Type. Next, we'll review the application methods list. Similar to the application device list, first review and remove any application methods that you do not use and click New Application Method to input the method you would like and then click the green Create Application Method to create. Third on this page are your conducive conditions. This page will allow you again to remove anything that you do not need and click the New Appointment Condition to create new. Next we'll cover the Recommendations list. Similar to Conditions, you have the ability to create recommendations for each client that are static and display whenever you select them from the mobile app. So first delete anything that you do not need, click New to create new. Next will be the target pest list. So again, similar to all of the other processes, review your list, delete those that you do not need, and click New to create new. In greater detail, we'll cover the materials, dilution rates, and property types and target areas. So first, going to the property type and target area section, each property type will house the target area within that property type that is treated. So for instance, under a commercial account, you may want to add in retail type areas or restaurant areas, and then the default property type does include both commercial and residential. If you are satisfied with this list to have it combined, you may review, delete, and then to add new target areas, click the Add Target Area button, input the correct name, and then click the green Update. To create a new location type, click the New Location Type in the top right corner and input the location type, and then begin adding target areas. Once you've created the location, you'll be able to assign that property type to service locations within your customer account. The next option is reviewing the materials list. So first, review the list and remove any materials that you do not use. Those materials that have remained, click on the material name to add the default measurements. The default application device type. Application method and target pests. Once you have updated the defaults, click the green Update Material. To add new materials, click the New Material button and fill out all applicable inf information. Once you have completed all of the fields, click Create Material. The final option under Pest and Material Settings that we will cover is the Dilution Rate Table. When reviewing the dilution rate table, remove any that you do not use and create new 
to create a new description. This can include the brand, so we'll say the brand name. It can include application instructions, the concentrated level of active ingredient, or any other information that you deem important that you would like displayed on your service tickets. If you report in exact quantities and not in mixed quantities, leave the mixture as is. If you would prefer to report in a mixed quantity, then choose the actual mixture rate, whatever that might be, and click Create Dilution Rate. Moving to the mobile app, I'll explain where the PESTA material settings will be displayed. First, tap on a work order and then tap the green Start Now button. Looking at the digital work order, the items that we updated in the PESTA material settings will be displayed first in the recommendations, so I'll just run through the options first, and conditions lists materials used. The materials used will also be in devices and the unit section. So going through where you would add recommendations, first tap the oval add button and in these lists you can select one or more options. Tap apply to add the recommendation. Same with conditions, tap the add oval and then select all that you'd like to apply and tap apply. In the material use section, tap the add to add a material. Select the material that you would like to add and if you have not gone through and updated the default options for unit of measure, device, method, and target pests, you may do that now, but if you have added those details to your materials in the settings, then just input the quantity used and tap add a location to select the areas in which the material was applied. Once done, tap save. The PESTA material settings will all display on your completed service report or invoice. In the material section, each material used will be displayed with the name, EPA number, quantity used, the dilution rate, the application method, and device type. The target pests and areas used will also be displayed in this section. That concludes today's video on the pest and material settings in Fieldwork.